This episode of Bullet Heaven was made possible by Tozai Games. When it comes to SCGs, one series that has withstood the test of time is Irem's R-Type. First seeing released in arcades in 1987, R-Type has spawned at minimum five sequels, several spin-offs, and even a canon strategy game. When high definition became the de facto standard, it wasn't a surprise to see R-Type surface again in HD. In 2009, R-Type Dimensions was released to Xbox Live Arcade. R-Type Dimensions is an HD compilation of both R-Type 1 and 2 and features extra gameplay modes, slick enhanced visuals, and even two-player co-op. On May 20th, 2014, R-Type Dimensions finally made its way to PS3 with even more enhancements. Let's take a closer look. R-Type comes from an era when gameplay in shooting games was evolving past a simple shoot everything with one kind of shot style seen in other games like Xevious, Star Force, or Star Soldier. Though maybe not as feature-heavy as Gradius, the complexity to the gameplay in R-Type for its time lends to some interesting control. Movement is just what you would expect from a Yoko-style shmup from the 80s. 8-way movement is solid but slow, just like the stage progression itself. In some ways, R-Type is kind of like an action puzzle game in that a very specific method to progress is often the only way to really get through unscathed. Having the right weapons for specific situations is also fairly crucial. This slow, thoughtful approach to R-Type's gameplay has led to the series often being called the Thinking Person Shooter, relying on difficult enemy patterns and precise player reaction to challenge its players. And while the controls are kind of sluggish, at least it remains consistent. Dying in Gradius, by comparison, makes your speedy Vic Viper slow to an utter crawl. The R9 shots were also pretty subdued in the original arcade release with an obvious lack of rapid fire, but R-Type Dimensions has a rapid fire button that makes for a much more comfortable method of spraying white hot death at your opposition. If more powerful bursts of plasmic fury are what the doctors ordered, holding the single shot button will charge a very powerful cannon blast that cuts through popcorn enemies like butter and heavily damages everything else. Meanwhile, there are multiple power-ups in R-Type that are obtained by destroying small carrier robots. Picking up a red, blue, or yellow power-up will summon an indestructible bit called the Force to your ship, and subsequent pickups will grow it in size and power to a maximum level of 3. In R-Type 2, there are additional weapon types and alternate missile variants that can be picked up as well. The Force can be attached to the front or the back of the R9 and adds a layer of protection from standard enemy fire. But the Force is more than just a simple shield. It can also be launched as a powerful weapon that not only inflicts damage with direct impact, but also fires variable levels of standard shots until it is reattached to the R9. Beyond this, there are speed pickups for a boost in movement, missile sub-weapons, and even additional protective bits that can be collected for even more offensive and defensive power. You might think that this makes R-Type a bit of a cakewalk, but man, would you be wrong. Despite the slower pace, abundance of weapons, and protection offered from indestructible components, it's still easy as hell to become an exploded cloud of debris. As such, a ton of practice might be needed to see the classic modes to the end on one credit, but R-Type Dimensions has another feature that can help. Holding the L2 trigger can slow time to a crawl, giving players a bit more time to process the more difficult enemy patterns and bullet swarms. Even with unlimited slow-mo, three lives per credit is still a very tiny amount of lives. For those of you out there with considerably less skill, there's always the infinite mode, which allows players infinite lives to get through the game one stage at a time without the hassle of checkpoints. The goal of infinite mode is to get through the game with as few deaths as possible. A 1cc on normal is one thing, but getting through on one life? There's your challenge du jour. R-Type has always packed a considerable amount of challenge in it, and it might not have aged as well as, say, Raiden has. 
The later stages are spitefully hard, with some awful segments that seemingly can't be traversed without losing your livestock in about 10 seconds flat. An extreme amount of practice and time will need to be sunk into these games to see the end on a single credit, especially with the classic mode's checkpoints. But not since R-Type Leo have players been able to tackle the game co-op style, which is a welcome addition since teaming up with a buddy can increase the protection two players can have dramatically. R-Type Dimensions is the only way for shmuppers to play the original R-Type with a friend. There is even an online component in the form of trophy support and online leaderboards on the PlayStation Network that adds a competitive scoring layer to the game. All around, a very solid gameplay package for masochists everywhere. But it's not without some serious issues. Most notably, the game will crash when starting a new game in different modes. For example, if you play in 2D and then restart in 3D just to get it out of the way? Crash. Restart the system. Going from R-Type 1 to R-Type 2? Crash. Restart the system. Even some menus will crash. It's a glaring flaw that makes for a pretty frustrating time when it happens back to back. It also seems to happen at random, so hopefully you have better luck than we did. Unlike the actual gameplay in R-Type, its scoring is very subdued. There's nothing here beyond shooting as much as you can with the right weapons optimized for the enemy patterns you'll come across, especially in the standard mode. Collecting power-ups will also increase your score marginally. In infinite mode though, players get a tally for each stage, which is white when a score is set, green when it is exceeded in subsequent plays, or red if your last attempt doesn't measure up. While there are no additional scoring points to speak of, the stage-by-stage -stage approach makes for a fairly interesting score chase. R-Type's difficulty and simple scoring are supplemented with PSN leaderboards, which might just be enough to keep high-score chasers happy. Still, in the end, the scoring mechanics here are pretty shallow, which makes R-Type Dimensions feel like its only point is for survival. At the very least, scoring high does grant extends, but the first one is obtained at 200,000 points and the final one is obtained at 700,000. And thanks to the harsh difficulty, as of this episode we haven't been able to get one yet. R-Type has a style all its own, and whether you're playing in the classic pixel art style or the enhanced 3D version, you can always tell at a glance that this is definitely R-Type. The visuals here are solid and very sharp, especially displayed in HD with no blurring. On the other hand, the 3D visuals are 100% faithful to the design of the original arcade game. What sets R-Type Dimensions apart from the many, many versions of this arcade classic is the ability to switch between the original sprite-based version and the shiny new 3D modeled presentation on the fly with nothing more than the press of a button. Better still, all of your shots, your enemy shots, and the damage inflicted also changes over one to one in real time with no interruption. There are some pretty gross designs in our type on the whole though. It's not exactly hard to see the obvious and various other of organs and fluids that are littered all over the place throughout the series, and our type dimensions is no exception. Um yeah, it's it's there, but no comment. There's even the option to play the game from a couple new vantage points. In the 3D version, you can angle the playfield similar to how the camera shifts in parts of games like Einhunter. You can even play the game staring at the screen on a mock arcade cabinet. This is admittedly pretty distracting, but it is neat to have the option. New to the PS3 version of R-Type Dimensions from the Xbox 360 version is the addition of a newly remixed arranged soundtrack that also changes over with the visuals from old to new, again one to one. Most of the classic sound effects stay intact through the transition though, and while they are definitely on the old side, they still work really well. It all comes together to form a fairly decent package that is sure to please fans of R-Type that also happen to have a PS3. But how does it stack up? Let's take a look.
Slow and steady doesn't exactly win the race, but R-Type's default ship speed still beats Gradius. Speed pickups lost after death don't feel as crippling by a long shot, but it's still way too slow to survive. R-Type has always been a tough nut to crack, but practice helps tremendously. The final stages are impossibly hard, though. The slow-mo button can get you through some tricky spots. Unlimited use. Woohoo! Two full games with all of the original stages makes for a decent amount of playtime. Add to that online leaderboards and two-player co-op, and the length can be extended considerably. The Pixel Perfect arcade versions look wicked sharp in HD, and the 3D stages look pretty darn snappy. is included. Switching between the two with the press of a button is a super slick way to find out how the two visual styles compare. Original arcade tracks are, well, less than fantastic, but the PS3 exclusive remixed arranged tracks are awesome. Again, switching between the two with a single button press is great. There's no denying that R-Type has influenced a ton of games that we would see for decades to come, such as Last Resort, Pulsar, Dukes, and many more. But all R-Type Dimensions really adds to the mix as a new game type and gussied up presentation. The two-player co-op is a welcome addition. R-Type Dimensions is a great way to get into the classic R-Type series without having to buy classic hardware or comparatively expensive versions of the original, and now PS3 owners can totally get in on it. But the crashing that occurs will take forgiving, and the impenetrable difficulty needs some accepting. That said, R-Type Dimensions gets a 3.5 out of 5. R-Type Dimensions is available now on the PlayStation Network for just $9.99, and it should be on every shmup fan's PS3, flaws and all. Tacos. Yep. Yep.